Today, Henkel presents its figures for the second quarter 2013. Despite a challenging business environment, Henkel significantly increased sales and earnings. Henkel's sales were 4.29 billion euros, an organic growth of 4%. This was driven by all business sectors and regions, in particular, a very strong performance in emerging markets. Here, our sales share reached 45%. Once again, Henkel recorded a very strong increase of its EBIT margin to 15.4%. Laundry and home care achieved an organic sales growth of 5.8% and an EBIT margin of 15.3%. Organic sales growth of beauty care was 2.8% and the EBIT margin 14.9%. Adhesive Technologies posted an organic sales growth of 3.6%. The EBIT margin was 16.9%. Earnings per preferred share rose by 10.3%. Overall, a strong second quarter for Henkel. Kasper, Henkel reported a strong second quarter. What were the key success drivers? Second quarter was a strong quarter for Henkel. We saw growth both on the top line and on the earnings despite a very difficult market environment. All our businesses grew, and our adhesive business came back to second positive growth in the second quarter. All our regions also grew, and the emerging markets saw very strong growth in the second quarter. Emerging markets are an important component of the Henkel strategy until 2016. However, many experts see a slowdown in economic growth in these markets. What are the consequences for Henkel? We saw the emerging markets grow by 9% in the second quarter, which was a very strong growth rate. They now, now account for 45% of our total business, and the strongest growth came from Middle East, Latin America, and Asia. And while we see turmoil in these markets, we still continue to see very strong growth rates, also above the mature markets. Our plan is that we'll reach 10 billion of sales in the emerging markets by 2016, and on the journey, we'll continue to invest heavily to ensure that we reach that position in the next four years. How do you see the importance of the mature markets, particularly given the difficult situation in the Eurozone? Let me be very clear on this. The mature markets are and will remain very important to Henkel. Our aim is uh, to have a business of approximately 10 billion also by 2016. We grow in the mature markets and of the top five countries in the world today, three are coming from the mature markets. The United States of America, Germany and France. So while we continue to see a challenging environment, it was, as I said, positive to see that we came back to growth, both in North America and also in Europe, and Europe predominantly driven by Germany. The new strategy 2016 has been mentioned already a number of times. Where do you stand today? We spend a lot of time and energy in rolling out our new strategy across the globe. Our new strategy built around outperform, globalize, simplify and inspire, and our targets 201010 is now also understood by all the businesses and all the functions that rolled it out in the first part of this year. Now it's important that we execute our strategy and really understand what it means for you and your department and your country to ensure that we do the right thing. And by the end of the year, I'll give you an overview where we are on the most important steps in the implementation of our strategy. What are your expectations for 2013? Despite the market environment, we had a strong Q2, we had a good first half, and we're confirming our guidance for the year. That means that we're gonna grow between three and 5%. Our margin will be at least 14.5%. But the most important KPI is earnings per share, and that has to grow 10%. And that's also what we're doing in the first half. So I'm confident, despite the different market environment, that we will hit our targets, and we need to ensure that everybody is very focused on executing in the second half, so we get an equally good second half compared to our first half.